All right, sampling distribution for X bar. A boat can hold 2,000, a little bit over, a little bit over a ton. 2,000, what is a ton? Is it a little over 21 or 20? Anyway, it's around 2,000. Can hold about a ton, this boat. So it can hold 2,160 pounds. Nine football players are going on a fishing trip. You want to know, what's the probability that, WTPT, they go over the weight limit for the boat if the average football player weighs 220 with a standard deviation of 30? Well, that's a tough problem. And you're going, hmm, what do I use here? Well, they're talking about a group of nine. And because they're talking about a group of nine, they're not asking this. They're not saying, what's the probability that all of them are over some limit? They're saying, what's the probability that the average weight is over something? And here's what I mean. If they don't want to go over 2160, wouldn't that mean that the average of all the nine players couldn't be greater than 2160 divided by nine players? Because think about this. If there's 2160 pounds to go around, how much can each player have? Let's see. 2160 divided by 9. So they can't weigh more than 240 on average. 240. And think about this. If the average of them is more than 240, that means if the, each, if the average of the group is more than 240, that means they're going to go over the limit. Because think about how you find the average. You take all these players, right? Player 1 plus player 2, plus player 3, plus player 4, plus player 5, plus player 6, plus player 7, plus player 8, plus player 9. You add them all up, and you divide by 9. And that gives you the average, right? Does that make sense? And you get some average, some x bar. Well, if I multiply both sides by 9, I get 9 times x bar will be the sum of all their limits. Well, we know that 9 times x bar has to be less than 2160. I know this is some crazy math which means x bar must be less than, divide both sides by 9 again, 240. Anyway, if you didn't understand that, um, if there, when I ask you about these elevator problems, you know, the elevator has a weight limit, or this thing has a this limit, or that thing has a this limit, and so many people go in, it's an x bar problem. They're wondering what's the probability that the sample mean is greater than this. So what we're trying to find is, this is a tricky problem, it's saying, what's the probability that x bar is greater than 240. So basically it's saying, what's the probability they go over the weight limit? They go over the weight limit when nine people go over 2160. And when nine people go over 2160, that means the average is over 240. So what's the probability? What's the probability that X bar is greater than 240? That's what we're trying to find. So how do we figure out what's the likelihood of getting this sample mean? Well, you have to think of other sample means, or all sample means. If a population has a mean of 220, and you go take a sample from it, shouldn't that X bar be close to 220? And the thing is, yeah, if you take a random sample, the mean of your sample, the average of, the, you know, if you take a sample, the, if the average player weighs 220, and you take a sample, shouldn't the average weight of that sample be close to 220? And if you take another sample, wouldn't that be close to 220? And that's what sampling distributions are. So you have to imagine a sampling distribution of X bars. Well, let's think about it. If the mean is 220, our formula sheet gives us some, we know that most X bars are going to be near 220. I take another sample, the average weight is going to be near 220. But they vary. And our formula sheet tells us the mean of all the X bars is just the mean. And the standard deviation of all the X bars is just the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. Well, we've got nine football players. So we know the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is going to be the population standard deviation divided by the square root of 9, which is 30 over 3, which is 10 pounds. Nice. So I can go up 10 pounds to 230, 240, down 10 pounds, 210, 200. And I know that if I take a bunch of samples of size 9, Assuming the population, sorry, population is normally distributed. Oops, put that in there. If I give, a, if I grab nine people, right? If I know that the that the, the population has an average of 220, the weight, the average weight is 220, and I grab nine people, 68% of those samples I grab, if I grab a bunch of samples of nine people, calculate the mean, another nine football players calculate the average weight, another nine football players, and I take a bunch of samples, 68% of the samples will be within one standard deviation. 
95% of the sample means will be within two standard deviations. We're saying how likely would it to randomly just get a sample mean greater than 240? Well, where's 240? 240 is right here. 240. How do you find that? Remember finding, just like now from here on, this is just a normal model problem. What's the probability of getting a, a, a number here or further away? Well, let's calculate the z-score. The z is just 240 minus 220 divided by the standard deviation, 10, which ends up being 2. So the probability of getting x bar greater than this is the same thing as the probability of getting a z greater than 2. And if you do norm CDF, from 2 up to 999, you're trying to find this area in here, you find about 2.5%. Okay? So the probability that they're going to overload this boat is about 2.5%. If you grab nine random football players, about 2.5% of the time, you will overload the boat that holds 2,160 pounds. Good luck. Go get them.